Last year, we moved to Long Beach for my work. Specifically, the Bluff Park neighborhood. Our new place is a condo two blocks from the beach in a building that was built in 1975. And there's still a lot of 1975 in it when we got it. So we're updating it, one project at a time. We already got rid of the popcorn ceiling, the paneling in the bedrooms, the vinyl floors in the bathroom, and some really ugly lighting. <laughs> watching the, the bears, bears in the block. Hi, today we want to talk about the fireplace. The fireplace is original to the 1975 construction of the condo. There's a lot that we don't like about this, and we've never been able to get it to work, so we've decided we're going to replace it. First off, what we've discovered is that even though it's a great big black hole here, there's really only a very small area where you see any fire. Um, second, the fake logs really look fake. And the technology for gas fireplaces has changed a lot, and there's more options out there. However, we have one thing limiting our options, and that is that the standard for venting has changed since 1975. And we can't change out our vent because it goes up through the upstairs neighbor. So we're limited to models that use the same kind of venting that they used in 1975. Still, through all that, we have found a model that we like. And so we're going to replace this. Now, this involves gas. I'm not going to do it. We're going to have a licensed contractor do it. We'll eventually replace the fireplace and the first step is going to be to do the to take up the tile here in front of it. Okay, let's stop and look at this for a second. The tile extends past the width of the fireplace, but not all the way to the width of the whole bump out. Why? I don't know, but it's ugly. We're going to change it. The tile in front of the fireplace came out very easily. Um, all the tiles intact, so we'll be donating those. The vinyl floor is taking a little bit more work and we are using the power tool that we used on the other vinyl floors. And we have one more vinyl floor gone. We're going to leave it like this for a little while until we actually do the wood through the rest of the house. So we're just going to have this little concrete entryway. The new fireplace is going to be framed a few inches up off the floor. And we need to do some measurements because we want to put a TV above the fireplace and there's restrictions on how much space you have to have between the fireplace and the TV. So let's go do some measurements. So we know the firebox is going to be 20 inches. I made a mark down here so that the top of the firebox will not be any higher than this ledge. According to the instructions for the fireplace, we can't put anything above it less than 39 inches from the bottom of the box. So I've measured up 39 inches here, and that's this, that's this mark right here. Our plan is that we will put a glass shelf here, which will serve as sort of a mantle for us. And then about two inches up from that will be the bottom of the TV. There's an online tool that I used that tells us where the mounting brackets are gonna be for the TV. We're having a contractor do that, actually do the mounting of it. But what I have to do is to know where to put a hole for the cables that we want to run from here onto the side over here because we don't want the cables visible in the front. So that's what I'm calculating right now is if the bottom of the TV is at this height, I've looked at the, at the online tool and it tells me that there's going to be about 13 inches from the bottom of the TV to the bottom of the mounting bracket. So I'm going to make a mark about six inches up from this one. 
which gives us right here. And that's going to be the bottom of the hole. Now I will need to measure sideways to figure out where it is, where, where it needs to go as well, because the hole will probably be about here. Uh, I'm going to do the final measurement of this once we have the fireplace installed. We want to run the cables from this hole to a place on the side here so that we can have the computer and the Apple TV and all that kind of stuff and have the, and keep the cables hidden. Another consideration is that we want to put a tile or a stone on the front here and on the sides to give it some weight down at the bottom visually. So I want to be above that line before we actually drill the hole. So the measurement that I'm doing for that is I know that the top of the fireplace box is here. The frame around it adds about another three inches. We probably want about three more inches for the stone. We've already done these measurements. So the, so the top of the stone is going to be about here. And if I come across to the side here, I then know that I want to come up a few inches for the bottom of the hole that's going to connect these two. We bought a kit for that. Um, this, is, this is what the face plate will look like. So I have to make sure the bottom of the face plate is at least as high as we want the, um, the measurement that we've made here. The kit came with a, a conduit for the low voltage wiring. It came with uh, some Romex for the high voltage wiring and a drill bit um, that makes a hole that's going to be this size and the box to go in it. So I'll show you some of that when I actually work on that.